Okay, so this is the infamous uh, DISA valve on a BMW E46 uh, with the S54 engine. Um, what I've heard a lot about online, what I've read a lot about is if you replace these, uh, they're very expensive. Uh, if you go online, you can get it for like $280. If you go to the dealership, they want like $450 for this thing. And uh, really the test uh, for the DISA valve to see if it works or not is when you go like this, um, it should move, first it should move the piston. So you can see, it's hard to film with one hand, that piston moves. The second test is that this is a vacuum device. So this is the uh, air release hole right here. You put your finger on it, and you take your finger off of it, and you bring this down all the way. So you close it. Then you put your finger back on the device, making sure that you're holding the hole and there's complete suction. Uh, and you let go. It should not move any more than, let's say, you know, 20 degrees. That's the maximum it should move, and then you prove that the vacuum is still intact. And when you let go, it flips down. Uh, my diesel valve was not doing that uh, when I first took it out of the car. Put my finger on it, I'd, uh, I'd go ahead and I'd let go, and it would just, it wouldn't remain with any suction at all. And I was like, hey, hell, why not? I'm just going to clean it before I throw it away. So I took this, the electrode cleaner. This is the biggest find of the E46 century, so. Uh, please pass this video along to anyone who has this car because this will save them you know 300 plus dollars take this you spray it down I sprayed everywhere I sprayed you know all around here I sprayed in the, in the pump area like in the where that lever is sprayed inside there that's an active area I sprayed inside the hole as it was upside down so I flipped it over and then I sprayed upwards inside of there and really just sprayed the shit out of it. Uh, sprayed down the whole valve area, sprayed it all down, and and then now it's fixed, which <laughs> I've never heard of this solution before. And I've read hundreds and hundreds of pages on the DISA valve, and no one has ever told me this, so pass this along, this is an easy fix. And please excuse the holes that I drilled in my DISA valve, uh, give or take a year ago, uh, to, I don't know, compensate for my insanity would probably be the best description of drilling these holes in the DISA valve. Uh, don't do that. It's a bad idea. I'm going to fill these with a uh, liquid gasket and have the holes be uh, no more. But. Anyway, yeah, uh, this is an amazing fix. Uh, try it out in your car if uh, your DISA valve is not working and run the test like I showed you to see if it is or is not working because this will affect the... Uh, um, it'll affect the... I think it involves the amount of air the car is taking in at lower RPMs. Um, or maybe it's higher RPMs. You know, if you know how, what it does, uh, please give me an email because I have no idea what it does. So. I'd love to know. Uh, I've heard a lot about it. No one seems to know what it does. Uh, <laughs> it's a mystery part. And uh, anyway, uh, enjoy.